there are natural sources of EM waves, electromagnetic waves, but if we want to be able to control the frequency, the strength, and the characteristics of an electromagnetic wave for a specific purpose, in our case, destroying tumors, then it is better to, ma to use a man-made source to generate those electromagnetic waves. As a result, we might imagine that we will need to include an antenna in the solution for our design challenge. We will want an antenna that generates a sinusoidally varying electromagnetic wave and purposefully radiate that wave towards the tumor. Of course, we will only want the electromagnetic wave to heat up the tumor and not the surrounding healthy tissue. So we'll have to think about how we might do that. But for the moment, let's start by discussing how an antenna works. Then we can try to adapt the design of the antenna to work best for our design challenge. To understand how an antenna works, let's start with something we're familiar with, a transmission line. Consider a transmission line excited by a sinusoidal source, VG, and terminated by a matched load. So here's our transmission line and I'm going to give it a matched load ZL equals to Z naught. And of course the matched load makes it so that there are no reflections from the end. For convenience let's assume the transmission line is one wavelength long. And so if it's only one wavelength long, only one period of the voltage and current waves will fit along the length of the transmission line. So let's draw one sinusoidal wave there. And this has an opposite polarity on the bottom conductor. Let's assume the dotted line here, these dotted lines, represent the magnitude of the currents on the transmission line. In which direction do the currents flow if we've draw it, drawn our dotted line this way? Well, we'd have to choose a direction. So this is uh, right here. This is positive. Let's say that the positive direction is towards the load. So they're hard to draw, but it's should be the arrow should be the largest right at the center where the amplitude is the biggest. And here on the edge is going to be smaller. So here these flow in the opposite direction, they get bigger in the middle, and then they get smaller. And same idea here. So the direction of the current is opposite in the top conductor relative to the bottom conductor, and that's due to the polarity of the source. Now, question for you. Does this transmission line radiate? Could it be used as an antenna or a source of electromagnetic fields that we could use to heat up a tumor?